drills during the practice, we didn't compete the way we wanted to. Um, and that was something that we actually did in the spring of 2016, when we feel like we were under kind of similar circumstances. And there were some guys here that remember that, but there's not a bunch, you know, there's not a bunch that kind of went through that initial initiation process of when we became what, what we became. And there's some guys that now kind of hopped in on the ride and sort of enjoyed um, the fruits of the labor of some of those that aren't here anymore. And uh, so it's just important to understand that we didn't get good just because on accident, you know what I mean? That there were certain things and um, that we had to do and we had to establish to, to play defense the way we had the last two years. Would you say that the, the, the veterans who are here, do they get the standard that you, that you talk about? Do they understand that? They do. They do, um, and it's just now it's time for the young guys to to understand that it's it's their obligation to raise their game to the standard that the older ones put out there, and uh, and they got to, they have to do it every day, um, and everybody when they're recruited wants to play, and then all of a sudden opportunity stares you eye to eye, and, and some guys blink, you know, so you got to be careful what you ask for. We've been telling guys that we got we got opportunity to play early here and, and, and we weren't lying and they're, they're finding that out now sometimes the hard way. Uh, maybe not the best day to ask this but with the quarterbacks that you recruited you know, when you look at what you want in a, in a starting quarterback or a starting quality quarterback where where are they where do they fall short what do you like about them? Well they're here now obviously we're talking about all of them are you talking about like Gilbert and DJ? Gilbert and DJ. Well what they both have is they both have outstanding length uh, they're both highly competitive guys um, DJ's probably nudged ahead a little bit early just because of his, um, I'd say, urgency and, and maybe a little bit greater attention to detail. Uh, they can both run. They can both make plays on the ball. Um, you know, we haven't done a lot of actually tackling guys to the ground yet. You know, where you get a chance to see their physicality. Um, but that's you know, and that's what you need in this day and age. You know, you need guys that can set edge in the run game. You need guys that can that can cover guys up down the field. The, the success that uh, Michael Jackson had a year ago. Um, so, no, I, I think I think we're we're happy that they're both here. Um, but again, we only have five guys on campus. They they need they need to get up to speed in a hurry. Oh, good. You know, I've been getting better every day. You know, I've been just coming out here competing, doing whatever the coaches tell me to do. Okay, so you guys wrapped up practice today with some wall sits. What, what was uh, what what happened out there today? Well, you know, I just I just didn't have a good day. You know, I I came out there a little sluggish, and you know, I just didn't play at the top of my game. But uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna finish that Saturday. Say, you know, you guys are, especially for some of you that are sophomores that have experience. How, how big is it now to know you've got that year of experience well, as you're going through? I mean, through the rest ever of since day one, you know, we, uh, Coach Diaz, you know, he make a role with all the players. You know, uh, either he's playing nickel or playing corner. You know, he just he just want us to play up top, play up to the standards, and um, just get better each and every day. You know, that's what I'm that's what I'm coming out here doing. Back to Bonte oh, Dean. So uh, a lot of competition at cornerback. How's the spring going for you so far? Uh, everything coming good. Like you said, you know, everybody coming out competing. So it's, it's making everybody around us better. What does the spring do for you? So actually good being able to go through it and kind of get to know everybody with the coaches with more time. With How's that been for you? Uh, well, spring for me, it's a, it's a way to get better, you know. Uh, learn the plays, get our techniques down, and learn how to play with uh, the ones, you know, and just, and just gain the trust from, from all my teammates. What did you learn after last year? What were the kind of the main things you needed to work on? What lessons did you learn? Uh, you know, just like like I said, you know, working on technique. You know, whether whether my eyes were on the quarterback or my eyes on my man. You know, and just coming out competing every day. Are you getting one reps, two reps, mixing around? Uh, I'm working with the ones right now. How, how ready do you feel you are to, to be a starter and cornerback? You know, uh, I feel like I'm ready. You know, uh, coming out competing. You know. Coach, Coach Rock coached me very well as a cornerback, you know, so I feel like I'm very well uh, prepared. Sophomore defensive lineman, Jonathan Garvin. Mm -hmm. Coaches have uh, talked about you, some of you said a lot of good practices, kind of, that's what they keep saying about you. How do you feel like you're doing so far? Uh, I feel like I'm doing well and not just, you know, I'm just, you know, all American, like awesome right now. It's just, you know, Coach Simpson came, I'm doing a lot better, I'm doing a lot better from day in, day out. The whole defense line as a whole, we're taking the drills into it, and you know, we're getting a lot better as a whole. So I appreciate it. What's it been like working with Coach Simpson? Uh, it's been great. It's been hard work. I mean, you get tired, you know, but learn to push through it. I mean, especially for me, um, not having as many reps as everybody else last year, for me, you know, it's, it's propelling me forward quickly. How's spring practice going so far for the linebackers? 
time. You know, we, we have some new guys in the room, like one or two, but everybody's learning, you know, just resetting that standard, you know, playing fast and being leaders, because we are leaders now, having another year growing and getting older. You guys have used small sense today. Uh, not a great practice yeah, still into that? It's a team bonding thing, man, you know. Like I said, just resetting the standard, you know, letting everybody know we held accountable, whether you're one or two or three. Do you see that people are getting that on, on the defense, the standard, kind of understanding what it really is? They ain't got no choice. I mean, if you're going to play with us, you're going you gonna, you gonna to know the standard. Or you're going to be on the sideline. Do the team met the standard last year, or is there progress towards a different type of standard that I mean, you guys now? It's always room for improvement, but you know, as far as the standard being set, I feel like Coach Diaz and, and I got a lot of the older guys, they set the standard for us, and I feel like it's our job to, to redefine it. Did losing those games at the end of the year sort of make you guys reset a little bit and, and, and realize that there's a whole nother level that you got to get to? Of course, you know, you get that far. You know, we've never been in that situation. A lot of those teams, Clemson, they, they, they've been in that situation before. So, you know, we got to just go back to the drawing board and know that it's another level that we got to jump to to be successful and be what we want to be.